Hey hi this is admin from admin365 and today we are going to talk about how to set up email forwarding in office 365 so let's get started usually in office 365 when we set up forwarding uh, we just put one email address and then it forwards the email to that person uh, it can be an internal or an external address, but it only allows us to add only one address. And uh, and when we try to add any other address into the same table, it does not allow us to do that. So let's see how we can achieve that. Uh, let's go to office.com and then sign in with the admin account. And we'll see the traditional place where we set up forwarding. In Office 365, we have multiple places where we can set up forwarding. Uh, one is the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, which we are in right now. We go to User, Active User. And uh, once we click on the user on which we want to set up forwarding, we can simply click on the Mail tab and then Email Forwarding. You will see that the email forwarding is applied or not. And once you click, click on Manage, it will show you this window where you can put in only one email address. And it does not allow us to add multiple addresses even using a comma or a semicolon so for us to achieve that uh, to forward emails to multiple addresses talking about internal users and external user uh, we can see what happens and how we can do it for the internal user first and then we'll talk about the external user we will need the help of a distribution group to set this up so let's go to teams and groups tab here and then active teams and group and in here we will create a distribution list what is a distribution list it is basically a list which contains all the email addresses which are member to it and once you send an email to that distribution list it will distribute the email sent to it to all the members so what we'll do is we'll create one we'll select the type hit next give it a name and any description Let's name it forwarding list and click on the description window and then you will see the next button and then it will ask us to provide a email address. You can use the on microsoft.com address in case you don't want to consume or utilize the domain.com email address and then hit next and then finish. And as you can see, the new group has been created. Uh, the, the reason we created the group is that uh, to forward email to multiple addresses, we will add the recipient into the list. So, uh, for example, if two person wants to receive email forwarded to my account, I will add the two person into this distribution list and then use this distribution list address as a forwarding address on my account. So any email sent to me will be redirected to the distribution list and with the help of the distribution list, it will get delivered to the two members of the distribution list. Here I have added three members in the distribution list. Uh, you can do the same. Uh, you can add as many recipients you want the emails to be forwarded to in the distribution list and then take the email address of that distribution list and go to the user where you want to enable forwarding and click on the user and it will open this pane we will go to the mail tab and then click on email forwarding option and manage email forwarding we'll check the box and then add the distribution list address which we have just copied and created yeah and you can check the box for keep a copy of the email into the mailbox if you want. I would suggest to have that checked because you will have a backup email in the main account. And as you can see, the forwarding has been enabled and any email sent to this user AA will be forwarded to the distribution list and then will be delivered to its three member. So this is how we enable forwarding to be received on multiple email addresses which are internal so for external there is one more step that has to be added 
for the recipient to be able to receive emails if they are external uh, actually there is two ways to do it uh, we can do it with the distribution list method or we can do it via the transport rule so let's see uh, each of them one by one so uh, for the first method uh, we will have to create contacts of the external user and then put the contacts into the distribution list the rest of the steps would be the same so uh, we will add the contacts we will go to the admin center then the users tab and then the contacts tab as you can see here and then click on add a contact and then I will provide the details and then provide the external email address where I want to forward the email to and create the contact as you can see once the contact is created we will simply go ahead and add that contact into the distribution list as a member and you can create as many contacts and add it to the distribution list um, and let's go back to the distribution list which we have created earlier and then we'll simply go there and I will show you that we can add a contact to a distribution list as well so let's click on members and then add a member and in this list we can see here the contacts which I have just created and once we select it it should be able to give us an option to add it there you go and we will add it and it should successfully add the contact into the distribution list and there you go so it was able to add it as well and uh, now the member are three internal user plus one contact you can have any combination here internal or external they just have to be in the distribution list and then the distribution list address should be the forwarding address of the mailbox where you want to set up forwarding to and currently you can see that we have three users which are internal and one contact so we'll basically go back and to the same place where we did it uh, we have already added it there so it should be still there uh, even after you have added the address you can add or remove member to the distribution list it will keep sending or sending a copy to the new member without disrupting the flow of it so anytime you can add member to the distribution list or remove member from the distribution list was one way to do it the other way is from the exchange admin center you can simply scroll down under admin centers and then click on exchange uh, you have to be a uh, exchange admin to be able to do it so uh, let's go to the exchange admin center to follow the next way of achieving this as I mentioned there is two ways to do the same for external recipient one was the mail contact and the other one is this so in exchange admin center we will go to the mail flow tab and under rules we will click on add a rule and once this window opens we will click give it a name and then click on more options at the bottom which is highlighted to see all the options which are available for the rule creation so once we have clicked on it the basic thing is we will add the conditions which is exactly like forwarding here but it would be on a mail flow level exchange online level not on the mailbox level so uh, what we'll do is we will set it up like this the condition would be if the recipient is this person we will select the person on which we want to enable forwarding and as you can see we have selected that under do the following we will select the option to add recipient what it will do is it will basically add one more recipient to the email sent to that particular person and then we can specify the external email address here itself this is not the clean way to enable forwarding to an external user I prefer the one which has the mail contact which we just saw earlier before this but if you want if you don't want to create distribution list you can simply try this so uh, what we'll do is we will click on 
BCC the message to after we click on add recipient and then we'll select the person from the list and as you can see if you have not created the mail contact it will not show you the person in the list and that is when you will have to manually type the email address and then click on check names and it will then take the email address and put it in in the recipient field you can add as many email addresses you want it has to be a valid email address ending with .com .org or any other domain extension and uh, once you are able to do that we can simply click on ok and please make sure that you have the same conditions which you see here apply the rule if the recipient is the person on which we want to enable forwarding and do the following should be bcc the message to the external email addresses which we want to add so under do the following you will have to go to add recipients and then bcc the message to you will not directly see the bcc the message to option so once done you can hit save and give it a test everything about office 365 is testing you will have to test it first and if it suits you then you can go ahead with the deployment uh, and as you can see it is saving it does take some time to take into effect just allow it 15 to 20 minutes and give it a test and it should be forwarding the email addresses to the recipients which we have added into the rule so there you go guys this was how we can set up forwarding in office 365 we saw three ways to do it uh, one was for the internal user and two was for the external users as well and we did it with distribution list we did it with contacts and distribution list and we did it with the transport rule in case you have any question you can drop it in the comment section and you have a nice day bye take care